you goat. I'm cornering you. Get out of there! Get out of there! making sure it's level so when we put the other panels up they'll all be straight and i'm still recording papa yeah you still recording hey guys welcome back to lip branch form we're out here today getting ready to put the cattle panels up for our christmas lima pole beans um i've got one post in the ground got it leveled up my grandson he's going to get the string out of my truck other side jace He's going to get the string so we can pull this thing straight and get it level. And uh, then we're going to hang the cattle panels and get everything leveled up. And hopefully we'll get the beans in the ground tonight. Uh, these Christmas pole lima beans, or Christmas lima pole beans, however you want to pronounce it, have a maturity date of like 50 days, 55 days, something like that. So we still got a window we can get those in. Um, I've got some Kentucky blue pole beans and they have a maturity date of 65 days so right now tomorrow being september the first if we were to plant these we're still looking at the first week of november before we would see any beans or we would be able to harvest any beans so um i don't know that we're going to get those in we're definitely going to plant them but i don't know what the outcome is going to be so it'll be a good test but for right now as soon as he gets back with his string we're going to pull a line get it straight and we're going to install a cattle panel to hang our Christmas pole, Christmas lima pole beans. So stick around. Yeah. 
Well, while my helper's out here finishing cutting off all the zip ties we use to tie the cattle funnels up with, here you see him out there, boy, he's working hard too. Look, you're doing a good job. <laughs> We're going to uh, go up here at the building. I left my beans up here in the building. I got to go up here and get the uh, the beans out of the barn. We're going to come back and we're going to get these in the ground. And then we're going to go to town and get some peat moss because we got some cabbage we got to start tonight. So don't go nowhere. All right, guys, we got the uh, cattle panels up. We got a row pulled up. Now it says there's 50 seeds in this bag. This is uh, the Christmas pole lima bean from Hoss Tool. And it says that it's uh, got a germination rate of 85%. And it was tested on 919, so that's September, it was a year ago. And this bag may not be accurate because it says germinate or maturity 85 days, and I know that's not right. But looking at it, it's about to be a pretty bean. You guys take a look at these. It says there's a uh, 50 seeds in here, so what I'm gonna do is go up one side of the row and I'm gonna space them out about a foot apart. And whatever I got left when I come back on the back side, I'll split the difference in between them. Um, we got nothing to lose, so and I can keep them watered right steady. That squash will be gone soon, and uh, the squash bugs are already in it, so it, it's just a matter of time before they, they take control of it. We'll get that out of there, get it cleaned up, and then we'll be ready for the rest of our fall garden. So let's get these in the ground. All right, guys, I got the uh, sprinklers going on cucumbers, squash, everything. Anyway, we'll get these beans watered in. The sun's pretty bright. I'm trying to get in here where you can see it. But I got. Pretty much the whole 50 seed pack. I think I had like four left over, so. And they're in there tight. They're in there real tight. And like I said, we got nothing to lose. I mean, we're, we're shooting for the fence here because tomorrow is September 1st. And we're hoping to get these beans uh, harvested. And that should be about right. Harvesting and out of the garden, you know, um, in October. So right now, me and uh, my helper up here have got to run to town and get a bag of peat moss so we can mix up some starting mix for this cabbage we're going to start tonight. So uh, stick around. Good morning, guys. I hope you enjoyed that last video we put out. Be on the lookout for part two of getting ready for fall garden. Um, we'll be starting top bunch collards and green magic broccoli and trays here in the next couple days so be on the lookout for that video we've also got some project videos coming out um we're going to be building a couple of raised beds in this area over here for carrots and garlic so we got a lot of stuff coming up um as it cools off we'll be doing a lot more projects outside it's just too unbearable hot to to be out here for too long but today is the first day of september and I wanted to ask you guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please do click that button right there in the corner and click the bell notification so you get notified every time we put out a new video. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.